it's your girl Carrie, and as you all know Mother's Day is right around the corner so today I will be sharing with you some Mother's Day gift ideas for any type of mom and on any type of budget so let's get started now one very beautiful and inexpensive gift and it can actually be free is putting a nice poem or just words that you have written in a beautiful frame and giving that to your mom. Now this uh, little poem here that says 10 things your mom never told you, I just thought it was absolutely fabulous. My mom gave me and my siblings this poem not too long ago and honestly because I'm a mother, I can totally relate to everything that this says. So for a dollar or less or free for or a couple of bucks, put a nice saying in a beautiful frame and give that to your mom. Mothers love sentimental sayings. Another beautiful inexpensive gift that you can give your mother is a mug that says this, because I'm your mother, that's why. Now how many of us have heard that phrase said over and over like a million times by our moms. This is something that you know children can get and give to their mother that's very inexpensive. Mugs like these cost only around $2.99. Or how about having the grandkids get for their grandmother a nice little mug that says, I'm still hot, it just comes in flashes now. And I thought this would be perfect for my mom, for my kids to get for my mom, because you know, she is going through menopause and she's always reaching for some type of fan. So I thought this would be cute to get the mug and a little pretty fan for their grandma. And again, I think you may have seen this in the past where I pick up these pretty little fans from the Dollar Tree. So this would be a very ex inexpensive gift for grandchildren to get for their grandparents. This would run $3 plus the fan, a $4 gift, and it's something that their grandmother would really want to use. Another great gift that you can get for a mother is a beautiful candle and a beautiful candlestick. If the mom that you know likes candles, you can buy her a pretty candle, buy her a pretty candlestick. These are relatively inexpensive. You can pick these up for about uh, $4.99 out of TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods. It's just a beautiful candlestick. If she already has a bunch of candles, why not get her some beautiful candle accessories? Some of the candle accessories that I love are these candle snuffers. I have several candle snuffers to match each one of my candle lighters, and this one right here happens to be a blinged out candle snuffer. Now this is very inexpensive. You can pick this up from Michaels, and if you use your coupon, you can get it for 40% off, and it'll run you about $5. Another thing that I absolutely love and I collect are beautiful candle lighters. And I think this would go great with lighting a candle for that person that really loves candles. Your candle lighting experience is so much better. And these are by the brand called Social Light. And then also, if you wanted to take it a step further, you can give your mother all of these gifts in a kit. You can give her a nice mug, a nice picture frame, a candle, some candle accessories, and then turn it into like a spa package where you can get her a gel, you know, eye mask cover. And these run very, um, these are very inexpensive. They're about $3.99 for these little eye mask covers to kind of soothe their eyes. And to complete that spa-like feeling, you can get her a beautiful spa robe. Now, robes can tend to be very expensive if you get a really nice one with a nice pile on it. This one right here is a beautiful, luxurious robe by the company Frate. And I picked these up last year on clearance out of Tuesday morning. If you go to their website, they're still selling this exact spa robe uh, on the website for $220. Yep, that's right. So they had them in Tuesday morning and they were selling them for 70 bucks, which is still pretty steep for a spa robe, but this is a very good quality robe. And the reason this red mark is here, they were selling them for 80% off. I was able to pick up a very good quality uh, spa robe for $15. And you guys know I picked up every single robe that they had in stock because I knew that these would make very good um, items to put in gift baskets or kits for any type of woman, whether it be for Mother's Day, a baby shower, or a birthday, giving a good luxurious robe would be an awesome gift. So here's a quick gift giving tip. 
Ensure that each one of your individual items is a beautiful item so that it can stand alone as a separate gift by itself. And that would allow if you had a small budget, just giving, for instance, this picture frame with a quote in it would be just as beautiful as if you've given all of these gifts as a kit. So as your budget expands, you can expand the kit. And that's why I like giving gift baskets because you can either ramp it up or ramp it down. But each one of these items are beautiful in and of itself. If you wanted to do an entire kit like this where you had accessories, you know, your candle accessories, candlesticks, cups, frames, and a beautiful robe, this entire kit will cost you $62. I think another wonderful gift for a mom is a vacation fund or a girls, you know, girls trip fund or a mommy time fund. And it'd be really cute if you got something like this, a ceramic uh, handbag. These are actually cookie jars. And I purchased these several years ago, all different styles for myself and my siblings. And what we do is every year take a girls trip and we call it the bag ladies trip. And we dub bag lady is called beautiful and gorgeous ladies. And we go out on a trip and that's just kind of to rejuvenate, get away from our kids, get away from our husbands, have a great time. And each one of us um, in, our, in our bag lady crew had to come up with what type of bag they were, handbag or any type of bag. And I am the Gucci bag lady because I loved handbags since I was a child. I like designer handbags. I like flea market bags. I like handmade bags. I just love purses. My oldest sister is the diaper bag lady because since the beginning of time, she's always wanted a large family and tons of children and my youngest sister is called the book bag lady because she is always in school and right now she is trying to complete her PhD so that's our bag lady crew and what we do how we use this is uh, we take a little portion of our allowances and all of our change each day or each night or each week from our change purse here's my little change purse it's my two cents and we take them out of our pocket pocketbooks or purses and we empty it out each night into our cookie jar and over a year's time the monies will build up and this will end up being our spending money for our trip and that's just an easy way to you know stack up your money for a trip and it's just you know looks beautiful sitting on top of your dresser you just empty your money and you just you know have it right there so this would be great to get uh, a mother just get her one of these cookie you know cookie jars and you know it can be empty but if you are feeling you know a little nicer or have a little bit more money why not get you know 50 singles, 50 single dollar bills, put that in there and start off her spending money for her vacation fund. Another fun thing that I like to give are coasters. These are fun little gifts that, you know, are inexpensive. They can be given to a girlfriend or, you know, a hostess gift or a co-worker. And this would be good for Mother's Day if you can find the right saying for the right person. So this one here says, Coffee, Chocolate, Men. Some things are just better rich. And I originally picked these up for my aunt because she loves coffee and she always talks about finding her her rich man, her rich print. So I think that would be great. This would be good as a fun, cute, standalone item or you can again make it into a kit so why not buy a bag of coffee a nice little coffee press and some wonderful chocolates right here these are not chocolates but I absolutely love these these are butter caramels they call heavenly caramels you can pick them up from Marshalls or TJ Maxx and they just melt in your mouth they are absolutely delicious Another great gift that you can give as a Mother's Day gift is an inexpensive watch. Something that is nice, but it doesn't have to break the bank. This one here is by Ellen Tracy and I absolutely love it. And the reason I love it, not only uh, is it because it's copper, but it also has three interchangeable bands. So it's almost like you have three watches in one and it has a little bit of bling on it. So you get your metal band, your metal copper band, you get a leather band, and then you get a patent leather band. And I just think these are absolutely adorable. I picked one of these up for my mother for Christmas and I also uh, you know got myself one for Christmas and I think these would make wonderful Mother's Day Mother's Day gifts now you guys know that I could not leave you without a Dollar Tree chic project for Mother's Day and I was watching this channel pretty and flawed and this lady did something that was absolutely amazing that I said I am definitely going to have to do. She purchased these bottles and originally these bottles came with a little cork stuck down in the top of them. But she purchased the bottles from the Dollar Tree and then she also picked up the little bottle uh, pourers from the Dollar Tree. 
and converted them into little oil dispensers. So I think what would be good as a Mother's Day gift is to just, for that person that likes to cook, is to buy these bottles, fill them up, like put rosemary or different types of, you know, herbs, and then pour in some olive oil or a different type of oil or make some salad dressing or something beautiful and pour those in there. And then they can have a very pretty, you know, oil and vinegar set to set out on their table. And these colors are so vibrant and just perfect for the summertime. So I thought those were absolutely great. And I picked up some of those for myself. Now again, these can be standalone gifts or you can also, again, build a kit, but you can also add in a wonderful cookbook. So someone that's just starting to cook or something like that can get a cookbook on home cooking basics along with the oil and vinegar. And then down here you can add in some beautiful dish towels. Now I picked these up last month when I was traveling in Turkey and I found some wonderful heavy Turkish dishcloth towels and these are wonderful. And then also you can get uh, a spoon rest. This is a beautiful mason jar spoon rest that you can just sit on your counter next to your stove. And I just think that would make a wonderful little kit for a mother that loves or enjoys cooking. Another item to consider when choosing Mother's Day gifts or gifts in general is to think about what the person may need. So for example, my mother-in-law just recently got a new bed because she had back surgery and she needed a different type of bed. So I thought it would be great to get her some new bedding for her new bed. So I purchased several sets of sheets to give to her for Mother's Day. Another great gift that you can give for Mother's Day is a wallet, just a fun little wallet, nothing, you know, expensive. Again, whatever your budget allows, but I like to find cute little fun wallets with sayings. And what you can do is take these wallets and actually, you can actually fill the inside with some gift cards that you know that person likes. So this would be great for the person that you do not know what to get because they're picky when selecting items or they have everything already. So you can put like an American Express gift card in there or gift cards to their favorite stores and then just give them the wallet and then they can go buy whatever gifts that they like. And then that way you can ensure that they get the gifts that they would want. Now on for my giveaway. So I will be selecting two winners for this giveaway and each winner will be receiving one of the wallets and one of the books. And in order to enter into this giveaway, you have to one, be a subscriber of this channel, two, list which wallet you would prefer, and three, answer the following question. You can answer either, I wish my mother knew, fill in the blanks, or my mother has taught me and fill in the blank. Now you will have until midnight Sunday, May 17th, which is not this Sunday, but next Sunday, to enter into this giveaway. And I wanna wish a happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And until next time, I am going to keep calm and carry on.